Hi everyone, I'm here with part two of our ACT practice test. Once again, um, I am not affiliated with ACT. I'm just doing these problems to help anyone who may need it. Um, part one is already up and this is part two or it's page 25 of the practice test that I'm going to link in the description. <clears throat> so let's get started. Number eight says, Manus drove from Chicago to Baton Rouge. At 8 a.m., he was 510 kilometers from Baton Rouge. At 1 p.m., he was 105 kilometers from Baton Rouge. Which of the following values is closest to Manish's average speed in kilometers per hour from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m.? Um, and once again, as you see, I have all the circles answered. That's from the ACT's answer key. So I circled all the answers so we're making sure we're getting the correct answer at the end and I don't make any silly mistakes. Okay, so and we're doing kilometers per hour. So let's see. He was originally at 510. And we're going to subtract that 105 to see what a difference he made. And at 510, that was at 8 a.m. So 8 a.m. to... 1 p.m. Okay, so let's do the top first. <clears throat> so 510 minus our 105, that's going to get us 405. So 405 kilometers. And down here, so 8 to 9, 10 to 11, 12 to 1, that's 5 hours. They want to know how many what his average speed is in kilometers per hour, so per one hour. So at the bottom, we have five hours, but we want one. So I'm going to divide that by five to get one. And whenever you do the bottom, you have to do the top. So 405 divided by five is 81 kilometers per one hour, which is letter H. Number nine, in the figure shown below, E and G lie on AC, D and F lie on AB, D and FG are parallel to BC, and the given lengths are in feet. What is the length of AC in feet? So this is just a typical similar triangles problem. So we're going to set up a ratio. So I'm going to start by looking at the small triangle right here. Okay. So... AD, which is this, is 8. So I'm going to do 8 over 16. And I'm going to set that equal to, let's look at our big triangle here. Because we're trying to find this whole thing, AC. So that's equal to AB which is 8 plus 7 plus 6, over AC, which we do not know the length of. So I'm just going to put AC here. And we're going to cross multiply. So up here, this 8 plus 7 plus 6, that's going to get us 21. So let's change that to 21 real quick. 21, and now we can cross multiply. So I have 8 times AC because we're crossing, and then equals 16 times 21, which is 336. Divide each side by 8, divided by 8, and AC is equal to 42, which is letter D. Number 10, Katarina runs 15 miles in two and a half hours. What is the average number of minutes it takes her to run one mile? So I'm going to go ahead and write here, 15 miles in two and a half hours. Okay, let's just, let's change that to minutes real quick because we want it in minutes. So to change hours to minutes, we're going to multiply 2.5 by 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So that's really 150 minutes. So now let's see. Average number of minutes to run one mile. So I have to get that to be one. 
to get miles to be one. So I'm gonna divide the top by 15 to get that to be one mile. So make sure you're always dividing the correct thing. Whenever I do the top, I have to do to the bottom. So 150 divided by 15 is 10 minutes. So she's running about a 10 minute mile. It's not too bad, unless you're in like cross country or something. That's probably not the best. All right, a bag contains eight red marbles, yellow, nine yellow marbles, and seven green marbles. How many additional red marbles must be added to the 24 marbles already in the bag so the probability of randomly drawing a red marble is three-fifths? All right. We want the red marbles to be three-fifths. We have eight red marbles. So how many do we have to add to get it to be three-fifths. So see how I took my eight red marbles plus however many more I need to add. And on the bottom, I have a total of 24 marbles plus however, I'm, however many I'm adding up top also. So it's just a proportion problem. So I'm gonna put my parentheses and let's start cross multiplying. Oops, all right, five times eight plus X equals three times 24 plus X. Now it's just an equation to solve. So I'm gonna distribute. Eight times five is 40. Five times X is five X. Um, three times 24 is 72. Three times X is three X. I'm gonna move the three X to this side and the 40 to the other side. So let's go away. 2x equals 32. Those are gone. Undo multiplication with division. So x equals 16, which is letter B. So I need to add 16 red marbles to get it to be a three-fifths probability. All right, let's head up here. In the standard xy coordinate plane, the point... 2 comma 1 is the midpoint of CD. Point C has the coordinates of 6, 8. What are the coordinates of D? So I'm going to draw a picture here. Here's my line, C, D. It says the midpoint, so here's my midpoint, is 2 comma 1. And it says C has coordinates of 6, 8. So it wants to know what this coordinate is. What is coordinate D? Well, let's just look. If this is the midpoint, M is the midpoint, then let's just see how much it took us to get from C to M, and that's gonna be the same distance to get from M to D. So six plus what, or six minus what I should say, is two minus four. Two minus four is negative two. 8 minus what is 1? Minus 7. 1 minus 7 is what? Negative 6. So my point D is negative 2 comma negative 6. So letter G. At his job, the first 40 hours of each week that Thomas works is regular time. Any additional time that he works is overtime. Thomas gets paid $15 per hour during regular time. During overtime, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just, you know, start underlining things because this is a lot going on. <laughs> during overtime, Thomas gets paid one and a half times as much as he gets paid during regular time. Great. So he worked 46 hours in one week and 117 gets deducted. So that means it gets subtract for those of you, subtracted for those of you who um, haven't had a paycheck in their life, you get money taken out. Um, after the deductions are taken out, how much of Thomas's pay for this week remains? Okay, so for the first 40 hours, he gets paid $15 per hour. Okay, so if he worked 46 hours, the first 40 hours times his pay which is 15. Plus, he had six hours of overtime. 
and he gets paid one and a half. So one and a half times 15 is $22.50. But then we have to subtract the $117 because those are the deductions. So we just have a typical PEMDAS problem here. 40 times 15 is 600 plus 6 times 22, 50 is, let's see, 135 minus 17, 117, excuse me, 600 plus 135 minus 117 is 618 dollars, which is letter D. All right. Two more. We're almost there. At Sweet Stuff Fresh Produce, the, the price of a bag of grapes depend on the total number of bags purchased at one time, as shown in the table below. In two trips to Sweet Stuff this week, Janelle purchased three bags of grapes on Monday and four bags of grapes on Wednesday. How much money would Janelle have saved if instead she purchased seven bags of grapes in one trip on Monday? So Janelle's buying lots of grapes here. A typical math problem, right, that everyone jokes about. So let's see. Um, let's start about Monday. So it says on Monday, Janelle bought four bags of grapes. So let's see. Four bags would be 280 a bag. Plus, on Wednesday, oops, she bought three bags on Monday. She bought four bags on Wednesday. So let's fix this here real quick. So the four times 280 was on Wednesday. On Monday, she bought the three bags, so it was $3. $3. So let's do that. Um, we have nine plus four times that 280. $11.20 plus $9 is $20.20. Okay, so that's how much she actually spent. Now, it wants to know how much would she have saved if she did seven bags on Monday. So on Monday, seven bags would have just cost $2.60. So seven times $2.60 is $18.20. So subtract those. $20.20 minus $18.20. She would have saved $2 if she had bought all her bags of grapes on just Monday instead of going two different days. So our answer is J. Ooh, last one. Okay, what is 3% of 4.14 times 10 to the fourth power? The first thing I would do is I would get this out of scientific notation. If it's a positive exponent, that means the number is going to get bigger. So we're going to move the decimal place to the right four times. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. Let's put some zeros there. So this number up here is really 41,400. And we want to know what 3% of that is. So multiply that by 3% to a decimal. Remember, you move the decimal place over to the left two times. To the left, to the left. If anyone learned that. So let's multiply that by 0 0.03 and that will give us, should give us, our answer of 1,242, which is letter A. So that is page 25 of the practice booklet and part two of the math practice test that we're taking. 
I hope this helps. Make sure you subscribe so that you get all the rest of the parts when I get those finished and put up. Thanks for watching.